What is going on guys, Broken Machine here. Hope you guys are all doing good today and welcome to a new video. This is going to be a much more serious one. It is about my meltdown live on stream in front of 1400 people. You don't know how much you help me carry on in, in just... in just like the hardest of times. If it wasn't for you guys, I don't think I'd still be here. I really don't. I'm just not in a good place right now. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. Not my proudest moment, and uh, probably something I needed though. So this is going to be a video on why that happened. It's going to be about mental health, uh, mainly anxiety, social anxiety, and depression to some extent for me. And I hope you'll take the time to listen. I hope you'll find it valuable in many ways. And uh, yeah, so let's just jump straight into it, shall we? So what happened? Well, I called it a meltdown. It's probably more like a relapse. Um, it's lots of things. It is a lot of things. Um, and I didn't want to open up on that stream. Uh, I really didn't want to open up. I did. And it's because of you guys and part of me hates you for that. But part of me really loves you for that. Um, I probably needed it. I probably did need it. Um, I've dealt with anxiety and social anxiety for a long time. It's affected me in so many ways. Um, I am quite indecisive. Um, I do worry a lot about anything, literally anything. I can just worry. And it's so ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Anxiety is just ridiculous. But when it's going on in your head, it's not. It's real. It's very real. Um, and this year, I... I've been doing too much. I've not taken care of myself in many ways. I'm not taking care of my mental health in many ways. Um, I've been up and down. Um, you've probably noticed a lot of posts on social media and YouTube where I apologize for being ragey on streams and, and stuff like that. Um, because I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be like that. And I have found this year quite difficult in, in many ways for many reasons. So... I've been struggling with that as we go. Um, I've overworked myself. Uh, I've pretty much made a video every single day. I've streamed almost every single day. I, I have also done late streams on Twitch uh, for three to four hours as well every other day. Um, so I've been overworking and I've, I've just I've just not been sleeping very well either. So that's really had an impact on, on my overall uh, well-being. Um, other stuff is going on in my life. Um, I'm trying to lose weight and the stuff that goes along with that. Uh, I don't have an issue with food apart from comfort eating, and that's something I've been really trying to work on, and uh, that's been a struggle. I, I, You probably don't understand why that's a struggle, but it has been a real struggle for me. Um, I've had other stuff going on. You know, my YouTube channel is up and down. Viewers are up and down, and that's a stress that uh, can be quite difficult to deal with at times, especially when you're not in a good place in your head. Um, and uh, I was dealing with a breakup at some point and all the nonsense that comes along with that and other stuff um, and I've just stressed myself out I've been dealing with too much I've been going to events and struggling at events because my anxiety has just peaked um, like last time I was in Sweden when I was playing the games checking out the Pacific early at DICE you know I was fine playing the games but when I was socializing and stuff my head was just elsewhere and um I was just not focusing, so I've just, I've just taken on too much this year, and I've not, I've, I've really not, um, I'm not really, um, I hate to say it, but I've just not really taken care of myself, and there's other stuff in the past that's, that's kind of been brought up again, and it's kind of affected things, um, that I will go into in a moment, um, so yeah, I, I had that meltdown, because, um, for lots of things and the reason I opened up was because I knew where this road was gonna go I knew that I was falling into a dark place I was already there I was hiding it from you guys um, and you could see it on my face I did not want to open up I did not want to share you can see it all over my face and then I just I cracked 
And the reason I cracked is because I knew where that path goes. I know, I know, I've been there so many times and I've pulled myself out of it and I needed to do it there live on stream. I really did because otherwise, you know, I'm going to go off and I'm not going to stream, I'm not going to do anything and I'm going to fall into a bad place and it's going to be difficult to come back. So I opened up and I meant everything I said. You guys have been such... <laughs> you guys have helped me through so many dark times. You really do not know. <sighs> you really do not know. When I was at uni, when I returned to uni, I'm sorry. You may have seen this portrait. It is a self-portrait, and it was my uh, final image for my final dissertation. And um, I left uni initially, I intermitted, um, which is where you're allowed to leave uni and come back at a later date. Uh, you do the years, um, you want to do refresh, like you, like you never did them. And you, um, and I'm struggling to talk about this because it was a difficult part of my life. Um, really difficult. I am not that same person then, but there is parts that affect, and, um, that affect me now. Um, and I struggled, I really struggled my anxiety was peaking. I was not in a good place. Other stuff happened at uni that I don't really want to go into. And um, eventually I, I couldn't do it anymore. And I had to say, I need, I need to take a break. I need to take a break. Otherwise, I'm going to do something stupid. And um, I don't want to go down that path. So I intermitted. I left and didn't really do anything for a long time. I was in, unemployed for a while. Um, I had no goals, nothing. Um, and I watch my friends and peers succeed and go on to do great things. And I'm happy for them, of course. Uh, but it, it all had a, an effect on me. It, had, it took its toll on me, you know. And um, it was really tough times. But eventually I decided to go back to uni and finish my final year. I have uh, a BA Honours in Photography. Um, and um, instead of photographing like beautiful women or beautiful landscapes or fine art or anything like that. I decided to flip the camera and focus on myself and what I went to was art therapy and um, yeah, I I wanted to understand myself, I wanted to get out of this, I wanted to move forward and, and get away from this uh, inner turmoil if you will and uh, just, just, just move forward in, in, in some kind of way and you guys really helped me with that. Um, every day, almost every day, I was streaming Battlefield 4 here on YouTube, and um, you guys made me feel normal, you gave me a goal, you gave me something to look forward to at the end of the day, I was going to uni, waking up early, forcing myself to commute every day, to try and break the anxiety, break stuff that was going on in my head, and um, you guys really helped me with that. You gave me something to focus on. Your friends, uh, you you just just awesome. You know, it was great. You know, I didn't get many donations that year, and that's fine. It wasn't about that. You know, and you really helped me. You you helped me so much, and um, I'm really grateful for that. I was in such a dark place, and you got me through it. Uh, so eventually, I I did finish. The degree, um, that's my final image there, and it's titled Encompass, and it means lots of things, it does. Um, it's inspired by f uh, a very famous painting, as you can probably tell if you're into art. Um, yeah, they were dark times, and you helped me get through them. So I finished uni, got a degree, but my life didn't really change. Uh, streams weren't going that well. They were, they, were, they were doing okay, but I wasn't making any money, really. Videos weren't really making any money. And eventually, BF1 came along, and I was like, oh, I've been to some dark places, this is it, I've got to tr really try this now. And uh, I went full-time. I went full-time with BF1, um, went all in, and just like that, I was a full-time YouTube creator, uh, a full-time job, making decent money, and my life just changed so quickly, and it was all down to you, and you guys helped me get through those dark times. Um, and it's been amazing. It's been so frigging amazing. I can't put it into words just, just how much you've helped over the years. I've had so many opportunities. Uh, I've become so much better at a person. I'm still struggling in places. Uh, I've been to Sweden countless times, LA twice, Germany twice, Gamescom, London several times, all these different places. And I'm so grateful um, for you guys. It's really helped. It has really, really helped. Um, 
So, so it's been good, but um, I've struggled over the last year, and I opened up because I realized I opened up on that stream of that meltdown because I realized I needed to be vulnerable to get out of that place again. Um, I came back and streamed straight away. <sighs> Which I probably shouldn't have, but I knew if I didn't, I would have gone down a really dark path. And you can hear it in my voice. I was really sad. I was really sad. Uh, but you guys have really helped me get through it. You really have. Um, it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle. You've probably seen my performance go up and down. Um, sometimes I'm really in the zone, and sometimes I can't even focus at all. Uh, I'm working on that. You guys have helped me with that. Um, and... Yeah, you guys have really helped me get out of a really, really dark place that I really don't want to go into again. I really don't. <sighs> you know, oh, since since I melt down, I've I've streamed less, I've worked less to try and focus on myself. I've been getting out, getting fresh air, doing stuff. Reconnecting with old friends, focusing on myself, not letting people walk all over me, not letting people get to me, um, and just trying to be, you know, be better in, in, in so many ways. Um, I took a break to Norway. For various reasons I took a break to Norway. Um, but one was because, in some ways, my, my stream became infected. And you probably won't know what that means. Um, but it was it was tough to stream. It was tough to stream again. There was embarrassment, you know. Broken down in front of all these people. And when you've got anxiety and social anxiety, you know, I've dealt with the, the stream numbers across all these years and I've gotten used to, like, having a thousand viewers or whatever. But, you know, suddenly after you've kind of embarrassed yourself in some ways... It was tough, and you could probably hear in my voice, I was struggling at times, I was having panic attacks at times. Um, someone asked me, like, why are you breathing heavily? And I was like, trying not to tell, I was like, but in my head, it's like, I'm having a panic attack, this is not good. And I've switched off my camera a few times because I was just like, I can't do this, my head is just, just not here. So my stream was infected, and for other reasons. Other reasons because, you know, people are going to be trolls, and they're going to be idiots in chat, and they're going to, you know, say certain things when you're down. That's what people do. Um, but there's certain people, and they know who they are, and they know when someone's down. They know, and they just kept on pushing and kept on being quite nasty, and uh, kind of got to me in ways. It did. Um, not just that, but everything just kind of got to me in ways. I was just like, you know what? I do need some kind of proper break away from my stream. Go to another country I've never been to and just turn off. So I did, and it was it was the best thing I ever did. And I'm really thankful for um, one of my fans, uh, one of my mods, who invited me to his house to just chill, drink, play loud music till like four in the morning, and just completely just turn off. You know, it was so good, and uh, I'll always be grateful for that. Um, yeah, that meant a lot. That that meant a lot. Um, so, yeah, yeah. So I'm in a better place now. I've been taking care of myself. I've been doing a lot more Instagram stories, trying to just just get out of my head and listen to more music and 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 try and be more positive and stuff. And I'm struggling in places, but I'm in a much better place, in a much much better place. And um, you know, it's. It's partly you guys, you know, supporting me for all the years and, you know, supporting me now and being there and helping. But, you know, it's partly me as well, you know. I knew. I knew I was going into a dark place. I've been here so many times, you know, more than I want to admit. But, you know, I'm open to admitting my mistakes, my issues, trying to work on them, you know. And I pulled myself out of it in so many ways. And, um... Yeah, feels kind of good, you know. I've learned a lot about myself in the, the past month or so. I realized that, you know, maybe I am stronger than, uh, you know, I, I think I am or appear to, to be. Um, you know, I'm the guy who, you know, 
you know, went back to uni and just said, hey, you know what, I'm going to put all my issues on the outside. I'm going to try and break it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to force myself to commute every day and get out of my head. I'm the guy who decided to go all in with BF1 and take a chance and, you know, give it all. You know, I'm the guy who, um, you know, said, you know, I got issues. I'm going to try and deal with them. I did. You know, I didn't run away. I didn't run away. I opened up on stream and at the time it, it felt like the worst thing to do, but... It was the best thing to do for me, I think. You know, it was the best thing to do, you know. I'm not that person at uni anymore. There's a little bits of me that still linger, but, uh, you know, I am in such a better place, and I'm really thankful for you guys. I can't express, I can't put it into words just how much your support has meant. I'll talk about other things at some point, but for now, it's, it's not the right time. Um... And, uh, you know, I don't want to share everything. You know, I don't think that's the right way to go. you got to share it if you need to share it, if you feel like it, you know, if it's the right thing to do. Um, but um, I'm in a good place. I'm in a good place. I'm sorry you had to see that. I really am. Um, and I hope if you're having your own issues, please let us know down below. You know, do it anonymously. And uh, let us know how you get through stuff. You know, for me, vulnerability is really important. You've got to open yourself up to some extent. Maybe to not everyone, um, but you got to do it to some extent. you got to ditch your ego, ditch your pride, and just, you know, you've got you to push forward in some kind of ways. And you've got to be open and honest with yourself. Don't hide behind your ego. You know, don't hide behind stuff. You've got to put it there and say, you know what, this isn't working. We need to, this needs to be fixed. We need to address this. Um you know, deal with unfinished business, all that kind of stuff, you know, it's, you know, I, I don't really believe in karma, but stuff comes back, it does, it does, for me, you know, I didn't really fix issues, and it cost me, it cost me friends, it cost me my ed education to some extent, um, cost me jobs, um, you know, and it, it's important now, it, mental health is really important, and we need to, we do need to talk about it, and we need to, you know, move forward. It's really important. It's really important. So uh, I'm going to try and end the video here because I feel like I might just ramble on. Um, I'm not sure what else to say. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. I really do. I really do. Um, you know, at some point, you know, it's, this YouTube channel is not going to last forever. You know, that's just... That's just reality, but... Um, I just want you to know I always, I'll always, always be grateful for everything you did and uh, getting me through some time, some, uh, bleh, I can't even talk now, absolute fail, <laughs> yeah, I'm really grateful for um, just everything, it means a lot, it does, you know, <sighs> help me get through some uh, dark times, get out of dark places and um, yeah, <laughs> I've said it. I've said it countless times. Let's uh, let's just end it to there. Hope you guys are all good. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it's a bit of a dark one, but um, yeah, I'm out of those dark places. I'm not going to talk about all the dark places and where I've been in my head. Um, you know, <sighs> but um, I'm in a bad place. Thank you. Hope you have a good day. Take it easy, guys. Catch you later.